welcome students in my next tutorial in the series of adobe photoshop so last time i told you how to use these marquee tools that means elliptical marquee tool rectangular marquee tool and these were left single marquee tool and single column marquee tool although we use these tools very less but still as we are covering so i'll just tell you something about this like suppose single marquee tool so if i'll select this and then if i'll click it here you could see a single line and if i'll press the delete key and then control d to deselect you could see here's very smooth line that means it is a single row which was selected i have deleted just to show you that how it works i hope it is clear the same way single column so i'll just select again this one so like this selection is been made and then if i'll press the delete key just to show you and then delete means to delete the selected part and if i'll press the control d you could see here it's like this i hope this is also clear now moving ahead i can use rectangular marquee tool to delete this part also suppose uh, now i'll select the whole part like this whole all three shapes and press delete key so you could see after pressing the delete key from the keyboard all the shapes is been deleted now control d or i can press select and deselect again now we'll be covering gradient tool and for gradient tool again i'll make some shape like suppose elliptical marquee tool i am taking make one circle and then i can mm, yeah i have to select this gradient tool from here you could see the gradient tool g is the shortcut from the keyboard press this and after this you can uh, on the top in options bar now i have told you this is a like tool and whenever i click on the tool the options comes on the top from here you can select the gradient suppose uh, this is a gradient editor and uh, i am selecting suppose this color this color okay so by default i have selected this and at the bottom you could see the options of gradient i'll click on okay and then afterwards you can just drag from it can be from left to right or right to bottom whatever you feel so i'll just drag it like this and you could see the gradient is coming in this way okay if you want to change the gradient again you can go on the top from here and you can see different gradient suppose i want to select this one click okay and again select it you could see the gradient is been changed now control d control d now means whatever the selection you had made that is been removed again you select the gradient now suppose i select this one orange click okay and now if i'll drag you could see here whole canvas or whole sheet which i was having it's been covered with the gradient so i hope it's clear that earlier you were only applying the gradient or color on the selected part but now you are applying the changes to every part of the sheet suppose now i'll change it again like this one i'll select okay and then drag it suppose from here left to right and you could see the gradient is been changed in options bar on the top you could see here we have different options this one suppose uh, i'll select this one now i'll make the gradient you could see the difference is there you could see here the circle it is making okay and then again the third option you know it is a style of gradients you can select this third option and now you see how it is see it's like this 
and then the fourth one now you select just see from one side to another you could see like this okay so all four styles you can check just see from the part you will start and till the end it will show like this so always you have to see that you start from the point from where you want that effect go towards one side so you will get the result like this so always you can use these options whichever you feel like is appropriate for you and always you should be clear that where opacity is written it's it should be 100 percent if it's not 100 percent the color effect will be less for example if i'll make it to like 30 percent you could see here it's lightened if i'll make it to 100 see it's showing the color the same way it will show the effect here also okay again if i'll make it to suppose this color and less than 55 15 see the difference i suppose I'll press Control A. Control A means to select the whole screen. That means the whole sheet. And then I press the delete button. That means everything has been deleted. Now if I'll again select this color, uh, suppose this gradient I select and then drag it from one side to another. You could see very light color. If it is not visible, I'll make it little darker. 49%. And then Control Z always to undo. Now, if I'll drag it down, you could see very light color. And now, if I'll make it to 100%, now drag it down. See, see the difference. I hope all this concept is very much clear to you. There is one mode option also dissolve behind. This will be covering afterwards. And uh, reverse is there see now opposite earlier when i was not clicking on reverse and i was dragging it down see the this gradient the darker part was coming towards the right side now if i am clicking on reverse and do the same thing it's been on the opposite side i think this much is very much clear to you now in the gradient part one more thing one important thing i want to teach you further you click upon this gradient suppose this gradient i have selected you can recolor the gradient on your own way suppose this is the tab you can see suppose this blue tab i want to change the blue color i'll just click upon this color from here and you want some word like pink color click ok and from here this point you could see you can make it left right then second one suppose white you want to make it yellow i'll select yellow and then third part suppose you want to make it green dark green and this suppose moving towards the right side let it be brown only and uh, click ok you could see here that i have designed the gradient according to my own style now you can drag it down and you see you have created the gradient from your own imagination. I hope this is very much clear to you. So you can try to make your own gradients. And again with the shape, that is very much clear to you. Again, I'll make some shape here. And inside this, I want to paint some gradient. So I can click the gradient once again. And here, suppose some other gradient I want to take. Okay, so I hope this concept is very much clear to you. Uh, you can try to make the gradient uh, the way I had designed. So, this is a kind of assignment for you. Just practice this. Try to color the outer part of your canvas or sheet by the outer gradient, design the gradient
according to your imagination and the inner part you color according to your imagination it could be preformatted gradient or some other gradient so with this i think my topic regarding the gradient is over please comment at the bottom and please like share comment and subscribe my channel if you like my explanation okay bye bye take care and wait for my next tutorial